typical day for me is getting in the morning, looking and seeing what kind of procedures. See, we, we've been writing uh, test procedures since I got here, and they're all going through various stages of the approval process now. And sometimes they come back with comments from the higher ups or safety people that want to ask some questions about a particular aspect of a procedure. So we have to review those, make sure uh, that we've adequately addressed their concerns before they go off to uh, their final approval state. We build bukus and scaffolds, tear them down, modify them. Um, any, anybody needs any kind of cabinet type work, uh, woodwork, take care of that. Uh, that's basically anything anybody asks for. Well, you got several crafts, and everybody's got an important job out here. And if we don't assist other, other crafts and support them, then they can't get their parts of the job done, piping, electrical, you know, all that, everything coincides with pumps, mill rights, and we support all of those. So if we're not here, they can't do their job. Well, there's a, a huge number of systems and components and relationships between systems and components throughout the plant. It's all got to work in harmony one day. <laughs> and without the right amount of testing and, and making sure that everything does what it's supposed to do, uh, nothing will work right. So we're here to make sure everything that's been installed uh, will end up working the way it's supposed to work. Out here, all they preach about is safety, 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 and I did a couple of um, projects before, but this project right here, that's all they preach about is safety, so I'm pretty good with that. That was one of the great things about this job is that this is the first time I've actually been on a construction site where the worker, we were involved and encouraged to be a part of the safety program. And that was, that was pretty, pretty cool. So um, any concerns that anyone would have, I have people coming up to me all the time, you know, either pointing out something that they feel like was putting the workers at risk. Um, or a better way to do a job. You know, in this field, you have people that have been doing it since dirt was invented, and uh, you know, they don't want to change their ways, but they started taking a part, and they were bringing me concerns. They were being active. You know, we let them know how their uh, concern was addressed, so they knew that their input mattered. And I think, uh, along with that, it was just, it really just took off, and I was, I was, very, very excited and pleased by that. Oh yeah, it's a way of life. It's definitely, if you don't have safety, you usually don't make it on the jobs. I say finishing it. You know, once we start something and once we get to the end and they say, okay, we threw, like we had a, a transfer line. It took some months to get that transfer line in. And it was, it was a hectic job and it was teenage and we didn't know how valuable it was until after it was over. But once it got over, they walked up and said, we did a fine job. The most rewarding part of my job is learning, is doing something different than what I've done for the last 20 years. I was in the Air Force for 20 years. And even before that, I was in the aircraft maintenance industry. So almost 30 years of aircraft maintenance under my belt. This is not aircraft maintenance. This is teaching an old dog new tricks. And that excites me. And uh, I come to work every day um, learning from the people who've been doing this for years and years, uh, coming into a building like this and looking around and, you know, I'm constantly in amazement of what it's going to do. Um, so it, it's personally enriching and rewarding from that perspective. Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to continue and this type of success that we can actually inspire others actually to uh, do the same thing, to, to know that we all in this country, we're doing a great job when we put our minds together and we can accomplish whatever we need to accomplish. Well, there's a, there's a term that's used in construction, and I've been doing it for a long, long time. And the job you're on is the toughest job you were ever on. But as soon as you leave it and go to the next one, the job you just left was the best job you ever had. And this was the best job I've ever had. And my satisfaction is here is this is an intense, really, uh, really tough job. There's a lot of piping, a lot of instrumentation, there's a lot of detail to this and being able to pull that all together and uh, you surround yourself with good people and all they do is push you up and I think everything we've done as a team to bring this project together is really beneficial to the whole complex and, I, and I'm really excited about seeing this job start up and get this project running. Being part of something that's, that's a whole lot bigger than us that's going to pass on 
you know, to help our kids, grandkids, you know, clean up their environment, make make the world safer.